So next I'm going to jump over um, and actually butcher the fluke. Look at his mouth. Oh, he's got sharp teeth. <laughs> he does. So it's kind of neat. Um, the fluke are actually born uh, swimming upright. And this is a flat fish. It, it swims along the bottom. Um, and you can see the underside um, is white. And both eyes are on this side of the head. So the eyes actually, they're born this way with the top half uh, dark green on this side and white on the bottom with eyes on each side of their head. And then as they get older, the eye actually migrates around to the other That's side and the freaky. color changes. That's yeah, it's really kind of neat. freaky. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead. Um, you butcher all flatfish the same. Um, and it is very simple. Um, it is a lot cheaper to buy whole fish. So what's a good example of another flatfish? Um, well, this is also called summer flounder. Mm -hmm. um, sole, halibut, those are all really good examples. So halibut can be huge. They, yeah. they used to grow as, as big as 1,500 pounds, but typically you see them anywhere from 20 to 40 And turbo? Pounds. And turbo also, yeah. yep. Um, so basically we have four fillets. So what I do is just kind of outline those and I'll make a cut straight down the center. There's actually a lateral line right there. Um, so I just bring my knife right down. Um, and typically at the restaurant and sometimes on the boats, they'll actually cut the heads off and degut them. I haven't done that here, so I'm just going to stay away from the belly section. Oh. Um, so now I basically outlined all of my f uh, fillets, and then I just come right in here. And when you butcher fish, you don't typically meat butchery use the, just the tip of your knife. Fish, you want to use your whole knife um, and kind of just do those long... Uh, motions and just allow the knife to do all the work. Wow, look at that. Well, you have yeah. a super sharp knife, too. Yes, this is a, a sharp knife always really makes the job much easier. So that's our first mm -hmm. fillet. You can kind of see the translucence of this fish, and that's one of your big tests on freshness. Really? Once it gets a little bit more opaque and, and more of a solid white, you know that the fish has been around for a couple of days. So this is that's a really... That's a great kitchen tip. It's a really beautiful example of a very fresh fish. So next, I'm just going to take my top fillet off here. Um, so those are our two fillets there. So I'm just going to flip this guy over, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. The bottom half of the fillets are typically a little bit thinner, yeah. um, so that's why you we like to take the top. You see those are really meaty. Yeah, those are the, really the, the good ones. So same thing, I'm going to outline. Now, could you use the rest of the fish to make stock if you want? Yep, we usually you do always that at the restaurant? Yeah, we always do it at the restaurant. So you have a special knife here? Um, so this is, it's more of a slicer um, that does have a little bit of flexibility. Um, so you can kind of see as I get in here, if I just put my weight on it, it's still firm, which yeah. is really great for the fish, but it does kind of flex just a little bit. It's thin and it really allows you to get in there and, and treat the fillets just the way that you need to. All right. So next, we're pretty much done. Um, what I will do is, you just want to watch out for the little scales. Um, so I'll come in and just give it a nice wipe. You can see these are really beautiful fillets. Yeah, look at that fish. The fluke oh. is such a, it's such a mild um, flavored fish and it really takes, really lends very well to ceviche and even sashimi. It's one of my favorite fish to eat raw. So to skin, I'm literally just sliding my knife in. I work through the fillet a little bit and then I want to lay my knife flat and just kind of grab a hold of that skin. And then as long as you keep your knife, you can actually just pull the skin back and forth. Wow. And it comes right off. I feel like I struggle with that at home, but I think I'm going about it the wrong way. I have it flipped over and I'm trying to get the skin. Yep, and that can nah. be very difficult. Yeah. But as long as you have a sharp knife and you just lay it flat, and you can just pull it straight Do through. Do that again, let All me right. say. Do one more time. So here, once again, I'm just going to work this right in and then slide it just kind of back and forth. And again, you can see really it's the weight, um, the tension that I put on uh, the skin itself that really allows that just to slide straight through. Wow. Right. That's such a great tip. I'm going to take that with me for sure. <laughs> right. So here we just have a little extra. This is kind of a fin uh, piece of fish. So I'm just going to clean this up and get off any of the lateral line, uh, which is OK. It just is nice. We have these beautiful colors. Um, so we're just going to get rid of anything extra. Uh, that might take away from the beauty of this fluke. So once I have my fillet here, now I'm literally just going to slice uh, little almost sashimi pieces. Mm -hmm. um, I usually try to go as thin as I can. Um, and this is, basically, this is basically it. This is how simple it is to butcher one of these fish. 
Um, and it does take you do a make little it bit of experience, easy. but you know, once you try it, uh, it's not super expensive, so it is a great fish to practice on too. Good to know. All right. So that's basically the start of our ceviche.